This is a limit switch. This is very useful if you're doing any kind of wiring and you need to incorporate some kind of switch to stop or start something. On the end there we've got a roller and when you press that in it's spring loaded and you will hear that that is opening and closing the contact inside which is either opening or closing the two contacts that are in there. You will find limit switches like this widely in industry. These are used on a lot of machines in order to stop machines, limit the travel, etc. We're now going to take the cover off this and we'll have a quick look inside. If we just look at the cover, you can see it says that it's a limit switch. It's got the voltage on there, the maximum amperage. And also it tells you that it's got a normally open contact and normally closed contacts within this switch. Inside the switch, we have two normally open contacts and two normally closed contacts and a nerf. I've now set the multimeter to the bleep function. So this is now measuring continuity. Once we touch the two probes together and we get continuity, the multimeter bleeps. So if we put those two probes on the normally open contacts, you can see that nothing happens until we press in the limit switch. That completes the circuit and we get continuity. If we put the two probes on the normally closed contacts, you'll see that the tester is bleeping all the time because we have continuity there. Once we press the switch in, that breaks the contact. Let it go again, makes the contact. Press it in again, breaks the contact. So these kinds of switches are very useful. You can use them for doing all kinds of things.